Hello and welcome everybody back to the channel. I am your host, Vortex, from MobileMusicPro.com, your home for mobile music production. And if you are new to the channel, what we do here is create weekly videos teaching people how to produce music. Our goal here is to get as many people producing music as possible, and the best way to start making music is on an iOS device. So if you do want to help us out on that mission, make sure to smash those likes, subscribe, and share out the show. Now on today's video, we're going to be giving you guys a quick tip on how to detect the notes and chords of any audio on your iPad. Whether you're a DJ trying to find the key of a song to mix, or a producer trying to find the key of a sample loop, we do think that these apps can make great additions to your utility toolbox. And please guys, if you know any other apps that can achieve this same task, make sure to leave it in the comments below. And don't forget, we just released our 100% free sample pack with over 200 sounds currently available at mobilemusicpro.com. This was created specifically for the community to celebrate our one year anniversary. So definitely make sure to download that when you get a chance and let us know what you think. Also, our recent Cubasis 3 giveaway that we announced on our two hour live stream just a couple days ago on Wednesday does end today, Saturday, specifically at 11 o'clock Pacific, 2 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. We are giving away five copies, so definitely make sure to click on the link below for your chance to win. We'll make sure to announce the winners on our socials and in the next video coming up next Wednesday. And finally, guys, don't forget to join us in our brand new Discord chat where we can hang out anytime. It's a great place to ask questions and talk shop. And again, I'll pretty much be in there 24 seven. So if you guys do want to hang out with us in there, make sure to check out the invite link in the description below. And so with that intro aside, let's get right to showing you how to detect the notes and chords of just about any type of audio right on your iPad. Hello and welcome everybody. We are wishing you the happiest of the happiest from Mobile Music Pro to wherever you are in the world. And as we said, we are going to be showing you a couple of different apps that can help you find the root key of a piece of audio or a song. Now, some of these apps are going to be standalone and some of them are going to be AUV3 plugins that we'll show you inside of Cubasis 3. And just a quick disclaimer that these apps aren't quite perfect just yet, but when you combine them with using your ear, you really can get some pretty fantastic results pretty fast. So let's go ahead and get started. We'll throw on the headphones really quick here. All right, now the first app that we're going to be talking about today is Audio Lair by Veerson. Now this app is a fantastic sampler and is supported by our brand new completely free sample pack that we just released on mobilemusicpro.com. So let's go ahead now and show you this trick with Audio Lair. So we have a Cubasis 3 project pulled up here and our first track is a MIDI track with the Audio Lair instrument selected. So let's go ahead and bring up Audio Lair now by tapping on Audio Lair. And then what we're going to do here is add a brand new zone by pretty much clicking anywhere in this area here. So we'll tap this once, and then we'll tap on Import Samples. And let's expand this so we can see what we're looking at. Now what we're going to show you here today is a couple of different examples. We're going to show you an example of just a synth stab, and we're going to show you an example of an audio loop. And all the files that we're going to be using today can be found in that brand new sample pack, Essentials Pack 1, that you can find for absolutely free on mobilemusicpro.com. So let's go ahead and select one of these synth stabs here. We'll select number one, and we'll minimize this here. And what we're going to do now is take a look at the Zone menu. To bring up the Zone menu, you tap anywhere around this area here where it says Zone. So we'll tap that now. And as you can see, it'll bring up your zone information right here. And what we're looking for here is the root key. As you can see here, Audio Lair detected this root key as C5. And of course, you can always hear what your sound sounds like by just playing some keys on the keyboard. All right, very simple. So once again, the key information here is right here where it says root, detecting the root key of C5. So let's go ahead and try a couple more examples now. So we'll tap on Done, and then we'll tap on the X to remove this zone. So we'll tap on the X once, and then it'll bring up the message that says, are you sure you want to delete this zone? And of course, we want to tap on OK. Once again, to add a new sound, you can tap anywhere in this area here. So let's tap this one more time. And once again, tap on Import Sample. And we'll expand this again. I always like to expand it so I can see all the files, as many files as possible. And we'll try the second synth stab this time. And minimize this. And once again, tap on our zone area here. So we'll tap on Zone. 
and here again in our zone information we can find the root key of C3. And we can hear what that sounds like once again by playing the keys on the keyboard. Alright, very cool. So now let's go ahead and tap done, and this time what we're going to do is try a couple of melody loops which is kind of like trying a whole song, in that the app will analyze the entire piece of audio and try to find that root note. So once again, let's tap X out of this zone, and we're going to create a new zone by tapping anywhere in this area and tapping on Import Samples. We'll expand this, and this time we're going to try one of our melody loops. So let's go ahead and try that guitar melody. And make this small again, and we'll tap on our zone information. And as you can see, Audio Layer has detected the root note here of C sharp. And we can hear what that sounds like by tapping on the C sharp on our MIDI keyboard. All right, very cool. So let's tap done out of that and try one more melody loop. We'll tap the X to delete this zone. We'll tap once to import some more samples. Let's expand this. And this time let's try a bass melody. So we'll tap on that and tap on our zone information once again. And as you can see here, this time Audio Layer recognized this loop as D2. So we'll tap done to get out of there. And that's pretty much all that there is to it for using Audio Layer to detect the root note of some audio. All right, now the next app that we're going to be taking a look at is Analyzer by Four Pockets. Once again, this is a, another AUV3 plugin that we're going to show you inside of Cubasis 3. So let's go ahead and take a look at that now. So we do already have the app pulled up here, and as you can see, it is very minimalistic, like most of Four Pockets apps. And what we have here on track two is one of the melodies from our brand new sample pack. And what we're going to try to do is try to find the key of this audio. And Four Pockets gives us a couple of different options on how to do that within this app. So the first tool that we're going to be looking at within this analyzer app is the tuner. So to find that, we'll tap on our presets drop down, and we'll scroll down to tuner, and tap on that. And what you want to do to really get the cleanest signal is increase your averaging from 2x to pretty much as high as your iPad can support. We use either 64x or 32x. So let's go ahead and hit play now and see what this looks like. So as you can see, it does jump around a little bit there, but there was definitely some solid signals in there, such as F sharp and G sharp. So you're already getting pretty close into the ballpark here. And then what you can do is use your piano to try to sound out some of these keys. So for example, if we hear a lot of F sharps, we can start playing on the keyboard and see what we can hear. So let's play this back now and see if we can play a few keys that can match. All right, perfect. So you can definitely hear some different keys in here, such as the E key. E major, you can definitely hear E major, and then you can definitely hear F sharp, and finally you can definitely hear G sharp in there. So from this we can determine that we're basically in the C sharp or F sharp scale. And of course this tool was designed for things like guitars and hardware instruments, but you can also use it with any type of software instrument as well. And now let's go ahead and take a look at the second tool inside this app called Note Detection. So once again we'll tap on our presets, and this time we'll scroll down to Note Detection. And we'll tap on that. And let's play this back again, so we can see this app in action. Okay, so if you looked carefully there, you can definitely see some strong note detection around D and F sharp, and even some in G sharp as well. So from this, you can definitely get a pretty good idea of what scale this particular loop is in. And if you didn't catch that, let's just show you one more time, where the more notes that is stacked up, the more of a chance that this note is being correctly detected. So let's go ahead and hit play. And what I want you guys to take a look at is the F sharp area first.
Okay, perfect. So again, we saw D, we saw E, we saw F sharp light up. So we can get a pretty good idea. And of course, you can always use the piano to play along with it. So once again, when you combine these tools with using your ear and even trying to match some of those sounds with a piano, you can pretty quickly get an idea of what key that your audio is in so that you can properly add that to your project. All right, now the next couple of apps that we'll be taking a look at are standalone apps and don't come with an AUV3 option. But of course, you still can connect these apps to your favorite DAW via technologies like AudioBus. Within iOS, there's usually always some way to pipe your audio into your favorite DAW. So the next app that we'll be taking a look at is DJ2 by Algorithm. So let's get into that now. And once again, what we're going to do here is try to detect the key of a song. We're not going to go into all the amazing features of this app. So let's go ahead and add our song now. To do that, we'll first choose a deck here, either left or right. So for this video, we're just going to use a single deck and we'll use the deck on the left hand side. So to add a song, we'll tap on the flashing button in the top left hand corner. And now what we'll do is we'll choose our music source by tapping this drop down here. And as you can see, you can choose from a variety of different sources, including things like your iTunes library, Beatport, SoundCloud, and more. But what we're going to do is choose our local file structure. So we'll tap on files. And this is going to allow us to use the files app inside of iPad OS. So now what we're going to do is add our test directory. That is where our current files are located is in this test folder that we created. So we'll add that now by tapping on the plus button. And as I said, we'll add our test folder here and tap on done. And now we can explore this folder within the app. So we'll tap on test. And here are the loops and synth steps from our brand new sample pack that we'll be using for this video today. So now let's go ahead and try a couple of loops. So we'll tap on the second one here. And to hear anything, we do have to tap our headphones icon. Okay, now what we're going to focus on is this area here at the top where it says your key. Now DJ, of course, can allow you to change the key of any song, but it will also detect the key of the song first. And as you can see right here, it did detect the root note of E major. So let's try another loop here by tapping once again on the button in the top left hand corner. And we'll try a different loop underneath that. Okay, perfect. As you can see here, it did detect the root note here of A major. So let's go ahead and try one final file here. Let's try the first melody loop here. Okay, very cool. Again, detected the note here as A major. So a pretty handy tool in what is already a pretty amazing app filled with just a ton of different features, including their new AI technology that allows you to actually separate the different parts of a song like the drums and the vocals and the melodies completely out into different stems. So a pretty fantastic app all around. All right, now the final app that we'll be discussing in today's video is called Key Finder, and it is a pretty nifty little app. So let's go ahead and get into that now. So right away, as you can see, the interface is pretty simple and straightforward. The only three main buttons that you really have to worry about in the beginning are these three right up here, which is the Add Manual, Scan Live, and Scan MP3. Now for this video, we are actually only going to use the Scan to MP3 button, which allows you to browse your iPad for any MP3 file to detect the key of that audio. And that's what we'll do now. So let's go ahead and tap on this Scan MP3 button. And once again, we'll choose one of our melodies here. Let's go ahead and try the Rhodes melody. Now this is a pretty small file, so it does scan pretty instantly, but it will scan pretty fast no matter what because generally MP3 files are pretty small. And as you can see, we have a dialog that popped up here that says the scan is complete and that the root key found was F sharp minor. Now you can go ahead and choose to save this by tapping on yes, but for the video today, we'll just tap on no because we're going to choose another file. So let's scan to MP3 one more time, and this time we'll try our harp loop. So let's tap on that. And once again, this only took a second, and then it prompted us with this scan complete dialog, letting us know that the root key found was C sharp minor. And again, you can use this app and pretty much all the apps that we've talked about today to scan any type of audio file, whether that's a full song or a melody loop, 
or a single one shot like some synth stabs, they pretty much support any type of audio. Now, this app unfortunately only supports MP3 files, so you would actually have to convert anything that you want to see in here to an MP3 file. So this app is more dedicated to pretty much finding the keys and chords of full songs. So as you can see here, a very, very simple app. It doesn't take too long to go ahead and get started. All you pretty much have to do is tap on scan MP3 and browse to your file. So hopefully one of these apps and one of these workflows can help you with your productions. All right, hello and welcome back everybody. We just wanted to again thank you so much for watching the video this far. And we hope that you can find at least some use in the apps that we featured in today's video. There really is just a ton of great apps coming out these days, so if we did miss any, make sure to leave them in the comments below. Also, if you did enjoy this video and are looking for more utility-based type apps, then definitely check out the recent video that we created called Top 5 AUV3 Utility Apps. We cover things in there such as Spectrum Analyze, oscilloscopes, and more. Now, of course, it's not going to be the most sexiest video of all time talking about some kind of next effect or next great synthesizer, but it does have a bunch of great apps in there that can really help you out in your day-to-day -day productions. As always, we do have a ton more content coming your way, so definitely make sure to subscribe to the channel and also definitely check out our free mailing list at mobilemusicpro.com to make sure that you're up to date with just about everything that we're doing. And of course, if you are enjoying this content, make sure to smash the like and comment. And again, don't forget to check out our brand new Discord channel with the link in the description below. You'll pretty much always find me in there hanging out 24-7. So if you do ever have any questions or just want to hang out, that's where I'll be. And so until next time, everybody, keep talking music and we'll see you later. Whether you're a DJ trying to find the key of a whether you're a DJ trying to find the key of a song to mix or a producer trying to key <sighs> whether you're a DJ trying to find the key of a oh, god damn it. So if you guys want so if you do want to hang out with us in there make sure to check out the So if you do want to